I have been doing neuroscience research for over 15 years. But when I came here, I learned that my neuroscience research has to be in relation to something unique to this local community. Then I was suggested that a kind of health disparity, which includes drug addiction, substance abuse. When I was an undergraduate student in Japan, I was interested in monkey because <laughs> I was interested in more kind of whole behavior rather than neurons behavior in the brain. Osaka University had a big monkey colony because they were interested in primate research. When I came to this country for the first time, my opportunity was to study that uh, brain waves. And because I had uh, uh, my PhD thesis on brain waves in this country, I got the research opportunities to study epilepsy. I was in the University of Maryland, assistant professor there. I was approached to saying that there is an institution in Brownsville, which is a part of the UT system. And although UT Brownsville has been a primary teaching institution, but there is a group of people who are interested in developing a research component in the Department of Biological Sciences. And so I thought, oh, that's very great because I can contribute to the development of those research efforts because I have 10, 15 years of doing research in research intensive institutions. Interestingly, that our brain can produce marijuana-like molecules appears to be also already ready at the time when we were, we were born. To find out how that our neurons respond to marijuana-like molecules, that's my current job. When we smoke marijuana, some people are more vulnerable to addiction than other group of people. So what, what is the biological basis to make a transition from just recreational drug use to addiction? We just take five to seven rat packs, take the brain out, and very quickly immerse into very cold artificial cerebrospinal fluid, and then start dissecting the hippocampus out, then put the hippocampus on the chopper, and we just cut it into half a millimeter. We are not using any marijuana. My current project was funded by NIH two grants, which lasts until the end of 2012, next year. But I'm in phase to renewing this research if I want to continue this research because we need funding. Students approaches to me and is there any research opportunities? In most cases, that's the way how I get the students. Once in a while, big success, no findings, when I hypothesize and expect the data, and those data will, will come up. And when I see those, instantly, in a way, rewarded.